Hello, welcome to some ephemera making time. I'm going to work on another envelope and uh, as you can see I have been uh, picking some bits of uh, collage and this is the envelope that I'm going to be working on but before I uh, get into that I want to uh, go back to my good friend that I keep here on my desk at all times. Well, I decided to finally make some rhyme or reason in here. And so, uh, I went through this and uh, I have a purple, uh, uh, pinks, reds, violets, yellow, blue, green, neutrals, black and white, and uh, I don't know what belongs where one. So, what I was able to do to uh, pick out these pits, bits is I just was able to pick out that entire, uh, that entire first section and uh, lay it down and uh, go through it with uh, the light shining and uh, me th being able to think rather than uh, trying to go through it like this. And what a difference just a little bit of uh, rhyme or reason makes. Uh, and I was able to find uh, those pieces. As you can see, back it goes and into its uh, garage on my desk. This is one of my first ever uh, trials at um, coffee dyeing. So I had a coffee dyed uh, white envelope, which is a nice size, as you can see. Uh, it's not. It's not a little. A little. It's, um, five by six. And I also wanted to, uh, try my, uh, Sizzix and do some embossing. And so, uh, this was my, uh, the first, my first try. And I was quite happy with the way the embossing layer worked. So first was a coffee dyed paper. The second layer is the um, this embossing. And uh, it worked beautifully on, on both sides. Uh, on this one, I have a little area where I had to uh, add some more embossing, but uh, live and learn on that one. And I will uh, make sure that that is uh, covered up with pretties. So uh, coffee dyed paper embossing. The second layer was a, uh, a little uh, Distress ink and oh, there it is, picked my uh, picked raspberry and I just used a, another piece of my, uh, my scrap paper to uh, put on as little as I possibly could. So that worked, uh, that worked for the third layer. And the next layer, if you can see there is some um, uh, fine, fine uh, stamp of uh, printing and, and French. And so that I added just to break up that look just a little bit. Let's see if I get nice and close, if you're able to see, there we go. <clears throat> And then I used um, some of my coffee dyed, um, uh, very fine, very thin, almost uh, almost feels like tissue, uh, library uh, um, dictionary pages, and I fitted a uh, a liner into the uh, into the envelope. So <coughs> I was just outside, and uh, Florida is absolutely full, crammed full of. Um, yellow pollen <coughs> from the trees, excuse me, in goes a Ricola. And so now I'm thinking that uh, I'm going to start, for some reason I always usually start on the back, I'm thinking I might want to uh, play up this. memorizable one, why not? There. What else? 
cegły. I think because it's at the edge that I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave that uh, straight edge. Yes, I am. What else is available? I don't know why I like this section. I have no idea whether that's up, down, or sideways, but that doesn't make any difference because it's calling to me. And I'm going to have just a little bit of darkness to play up this and the uh, the ink I used uh, Timber Brown stays on for the uh, French writing. I want that pink to show. So. Maybe not yet. Maybe this underneath some uh, very bright pink cheesecloth. I was a little heavy with the writ dye on this, but that's okay. There again, all of our junk journaling and our arting is about to live and learn. one layer. Yes. Let's not get overly enthusiastic, Carol. work a treat. My, my basket for this um, wondering I don't think there's anything underneath there. No. And I'm wondering if I can pull these two together by adding that. This was the um, Ooh. This was a uh, I kept this. I don't know why. I thought maybe for uh, stenciling. But I'm wondering that might not work very nicely right there. Yes, I think so. But I also think I want to play up this little bit of uh, neutral and the background color. Now what will I use? What is light enough? Maybe tea dye. Just the tiniest bit. Just the tiniest bit. Quite enough. Now it's not going to be easy to do it on here, so this paper is so thin and delicious. It's so nice and fine. There we go. Yes, yes. On here too. This is totally a figment of my imagination. I, I imagine it might be there just a little bit. I think so. That is going to be the, uh, whoops.
Oh, I'm really liking that. Now, I think some of that uh, tea dye on this side of the envelope. Yes. So I'm going to, you certainly don't need to uh, see this for the 5,000th time. I'm going to just put a tiny bit of tea dye around the edges on this side of the envelope. And I'm going to uh, glue these down. I'm going to use one or both of my uh, Fabri-Tac and my um, Art Glitter glue. Well, now that's all down and drying. And I thought that this might look rather nice right across the top. Not quite up to the top, but right there. So, let's see about how small a dot we can get of that glue. You need my wax paper for this, but uh, this should do it. Let's have fingers crossed again. Okay. This pops. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Oopsie daisy. Well, that's the first. Okay, let's get this like this. Down it goes. Get that parallel to the edge. And good old wax paper. I went and treated myself to a fresh box. It's been uh, about three years on this last one, and it's almost to the end. But sometimes just nothing to equal waxed paper for jobs like that. So, all right, we'll rethink that one. Right now we're going to let this dry and we're going to think about the front. Mm, that's a nice large bit, isn't it? Now I did have some stamps with, of course, a little bit of pink I couldn't resist. Let's see, maybe we'll just be a little bit wild and woolly. That's nice. There's a piece of that... Um, a piece of the wood paper. Let's see about that. And this. I want to re-tear that because I want the white to show. these bits. That works with that. Let's just get 
go around the edge of that uh, peony with um, some ripping. that darkness again. And I'm thinking it's necessary now that we have the uh, darkness of the uh, on the bird. this off right here. I don't think I mind that uh, cut edge. I have to ponder and look around. I'm mm, something. I need something. Oh, I'm so tickled when a plan comes together. And thanks to uh, White in the Garden of Mrs. Cog's Digi and a little fussy cutting. And this was not on uh, good paper. This was just on copy paper, but she's... Uh, She's quite lovely, nonetheless. Uh, I've finally gotten these pieces together. I added that one, eliminated some, and I added a piece of this here. So, I'm going to uh, uh, take some time now to um, glue these down, and then uh, come back and make a final decision as to whether or not I'm probably going to put some um, tea dye uh, around the edge of this uh, of this envelope, but here we are so far. And this makes me happy. So, both glues to the rescue. Well, another collage story has been told and I can't quite say how much I enjoy those collage stories. They just, uh, they just seem to uh, come. It's as though the scraps of paper and the under paper just 
have something to get out and uh, just so much fun. I'm still not a hundred percent on this um, flap of the envelope, but another part of me is saying, well, the front and back is rather busy, so maybe, just maybe, I'm going to do less is more here. enough. Yes, I believe it is. And the back. Yes, I do think so. I do think so. So, Here is the result of uh, this afternoon's playtime. I hope you've enjoyed playing with me. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share with a friend, and I would appreciate your subscribing to my channel. By now, 